Hey, babe. Surprise. I broke out the ropes and the gag and my old chair. I even found some sleeping pills. Nostalgic, right? <laughs> it's just like when we first met. Well, when I first met you, anyway. I know what you're thinking. Darling, why are you being so romantic all of a sudden? It's not even our anniversary. You really do underestimate me sometimes, you know. I can be spontaneous, too. And you do look pretty all tied up for me. But if I'm going to be totally honest, this is a special occasion. I know what you've been doing. Oh, don't struggle, honeybee. Just sit back and relax, all right? I'll take care of you. Honestly, I don't know why you're so surprised. Your love is the only thing I have. Did you really think I wouldn't feel it when you took it away from me? You've been so distant lately. So distracted. When you finally look at me, your eyes are empty. I always knew you might hurt me. Cut my Achilles tendon if I tried to run. Rip out my tongue if I told anyone what you are. Maybe even slit my throat, but... I never thought you would hurt me like this. We're supposed to be soulmates. So... So how could you even look at someone else? She's cute. Your new obsession. She's sweet and vibrant. Lots of friends. Top student. Passionate about her music. <sighs> She's got a voice like a Disney princess. The first time I heard her sing, I kept expecting birds and squirrels to show up. You want to lock her in a cage and make her sing for you, right? Like a canary? You want to take her away from everyone and everything? You want to put her in a box, and then one day, you'll look at her and wonder when she got so boring. Stop trying to talk. I don't want your excuses, and I'm not taking out the gag. What exactly were you going to do with me once you had your new little wife? Were you going to kill me? Answer me. Go on. Nod or shake your head. Were you going to kill me? Honey. You've been the only person in my life for six years. Do you really think I don't know when you are lying to me? It's not like you would have let me go. You don't have that in you. But you wouldn't want to keep me either. Not once you had her. What if I was too distracting so you couldn't give your darling your full attention? What if I got jealous and mean and hurt her precious feelings? What if I had helped her escape? God, it's so fun to watch you squirm like that. I'm starting to get why you liked this so much. <laughs> A teeny, tiny confession. I hope you won't get mad at me. You won't, will you? I killed her. <laughs> Kidding. Can you imagine? I mean, I thought about it. I walked up to her and said hello. I brought this butcher knife with me and kept it hidden in my bag. It would have been so easy to grab the handle and... But she's not really the problem now, is she? She doesn't even know you exist. That's probably for the best. The poor little thing scared of her own shadow. Am 
imagine how scared she would feel if she knew she had a stalker. That's scary for a young girl, after all. You're so still. Are you scared of my knife? Don't worry. I'm not going to kill you. I love you far too much to do that. I'm just going to keep you here with me. Until you remember that we belong together. I mean, you taught me that I could only have eyes for you. So I'm just going to remind you that you can only have eyes for me. Don't be so tense, honey. I'm just looking for... <laughs> there it is. Do you remember when you got this scarf, sweetheart? That's a silly question, I guess. Of course you do. It was your idea to cut my name into your body, after all. You bled for me. You hurt yourself for me. I know I didn't appreciate it at the time, but once I learned to love you, this scar became so very dear to me. It was a comfort to know that I had marked you too. But I guess it wasn't enough, huh? We'll have to get deeper this time. Stop moving. It'll look much prettier if you stay still for me. Flesh is so delicate. It's impermanent. It rots away. This time, I'm gonna carve my name into your fucking bones. <laughs>